Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you this GE Energy Smart PAR20 narrow floodlight. Now this is the slightly newer version of the very old black versions. Now obviously they don't make this version anymore, but it's newer than this one and the new LED bulbs are not like this design at all anymore. But back when they were first coming out in 2009-2010, when I originally picked one of these up, and I have a video of one of these on my channel. It was one of the first videos I ever put up of an LED bulb. I think it was the first LED bulb I ever put up. I uploaded the video back in, yeah, it was 2010. So, very cool. And I still have this bulb. Um, if you saw my vlog the other day, I picked up some of these. Or a vlog that was a long time ago. I don't know when this will get uploaded. But I picked up two of these and two of these because they were on clearance for two dollars at my local hardware store and I really like these old LED bulbs they produce a very nice color temperature that I like it says 2700 K but it's a little warmer no it's not a little warmer it's a little you know towards the whiter side of the 2700 K so it looks very nice and um, well, the video is about this version, not the black one, because I do have a video of that. It's very old on my channel, but we're going to look at this one. So like I said, I have two of these. One of them I already put in a fixture, and we'll take a look at the packaging here. The first thing that I notice that's different from the other one, other than the color and the design is ever so slightly different for the vents there, this one is dimmable, and the original version doesn't mention anything about being dimmable, on the package, at least not that I can see. So they obviously made the slightly newer version of this dimmable. On the back we have all kinds of information. Made in China, not a surprise there. So we'll go ahead and take it out. The packaging is already cut right here, so we'll just rip it open. Okay, that works, and here is the bulb. Now the other thing that's different, so if you look at the top, we have a, it's more clear, and here it's more of a refractor. So they must have, either they didn't like the refractor anymore, or the reflectors themselves got better. I'm not too sure. But you can see a slightly different design there. Still three LEDs. You can see the vents uh, taper off uh, more than on the original black one here. And this one is held together with screws, which are underneath these plugs. This one doesn't appear to have any screws on it at all. So we'll hold up the original black one to its replacement here and see if we can see any differences. Yeah, there's some differences there. It's still 7 watts, but now it can accept 100 volts instead of 110, and it's still, f no, no, this one's 50, 60 hertz, and this one's 60 only, so, yeah, and the amps, this one takes slightly less amps, still have the same type of caution stuff on here, I'm sure, uh, I don't, oh yeah, oh yeah, not for use with dimmers, so this one obviously we can use a dimmer with, and we will do that, so, let's go ahead and get our socket here, and I'm going to share with you the original one first, just so we have something to start with. And that's the original one. It's a very nice uh, pinpoint light, and it's, a, it's just a very nice color temperature. The camera picks it up as a nice white, and that's kind of what it is. And there's the LEDs. So I'll turn that off, and we'll put in the dimmer for this one because it can be dimmed. I'll turn it all the way to bright. It's just a standard incandescent dimmer. And there we go. Now the other difference here is it says that this one is 300 lumens and the original one is only 200. But they do seem brighter than that probably because the light is so you know pinpoint in one location so it looks brighter. But it does a very good job with the color temperature 
and the area of light as well. I think this newer version, holding it at about the same uh, uh, distance from the surface here, maybe produces a slightly bigger angle of light. They both say they're 20 degrees, so whatever. So let's go ahead and take a look at the LEDs on this one, and we can dim it down. Oh yeah, that turned off, that's why it was so dim. Yeah, so this one glows when you turn it off, and that other one doesn't. But here, let me get it back on. You can only get it about that dim without it cutting out. And it did, it is a little warmer, believe it or not, than it was when it wasn't dimmed, but it's kind of hard for the camera to pick that up. So overall, I really like these older first and second generation LED flood bulbs from GE. They did a really good job with them, and the quality is there as well. Now, they do dim over time, but I'm not too worried about that, as I do have one of these still in my collection, the first one I ever got back in 2010 or 9 or whenever it was. That one is in my permanent collection, and these I'm going to use, because now I can enjoy them without worrying about them dimming and whatnot, because I'll still have an original. Anyway, I really do hope you enjoyed this video of these, or this one particular, GE Energy Smart uh, PAR-20. It's more of an R-20 shape, but whatever. Uh, narrow floodlight bulb. Also, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.